In fact, my speech today is about how Toastmaster make a difference in your career, in your life. My life is almost over. I'm 57. Ah, but your life just begun. Now you are a uni student. After the, after the graduation, what will be the first thing in your mind? Look for a job, right? Okay, you finally got an interview. You go for an interview. What is your objective? You want to convince the interviewer to hire you. Hire me, hire me. I'm your best choice. Am I right? But instead of giving the vibe for the interviewer to hire you, you were nervous. You were nervous, anxious, and then worry. Why? Why? Because you don't know what they ask. You don't know what to expect. This is your first time interview or even a very few time, very limited time. Of interview so you don't know how to face questions suddenly posed to you don't worry Toastmaster is a training ground for you very quickly after this session you will have the table topic session teach you impromptu how to respond how to speak then anytime and people throw you a question no problem Come to Toastmaster, train yourself for any question thrown to you. You have no, then you'll be very confident. And you then the second worry is you're nervous. You can't, you're nervous, especially when you face stranger. You are introvert. You don't like to speak to, to talk to anyone. Come to Toastmaster. You see all the stranger. I'm the stranger too. To you, your first time you see me, right? Don't worry. Get yourself comfortable. We won't harm you. The interviewer won't harm you either. Don't worry. Just come. Get yourself comfortable. Mix around with us. We are all here for you. We are all here rub against each other. No worry. Practice. This is a platform like in dance. This is a platform for you to make mistakes. When you make mistakes, nobody will criticize you. We will just say, ah, go on, go on. You can do it. You can do it. Didn't you witness that just now? Right. So don't worry. Come here. Right. Then the next thing you want to work, you want to think about confidence. Oh, yo, I'm not confident. How to speak? Okay. What is confidence? To you. I remember when I first joined Toastmaster, I confidence to me was I can speak in front of the crowd, a group of people. Get rid of my fear, my stage fright. But then after a few times, I felt comfortable. I I was okay. I was comfortable speaking in front of the audience but then you know confidence also have different level as you grow your confidence level also reach to another level now to me my confidence level is i can articulate anything in my mind anything in my heart i can articulate my feeling i can articulate my point in my head if i can do so i am confident right confident to me at this point is this but what is a confidence to you you will learn it your journey well let's explore when you are not confident why why is it that you are not confident first you worry you said the wrong thing 
People don't like it. You step on people's toe. People will react against you. You don't know what to say. You admire those people. Why this person? So, but once he speak, well, everybody engrossed on him. Everybody pay attention to this person. Everybody love this person. Why? Why? Why is it even? I'm also human being. He is also human being. What's the difference? The difference is he knows what to talk, what to say at the right time to the right audience. He knows what topic to pick to talk to you. In Toastmasters, later you will see, we will have a session called Project Speech. In that project speech, you will have you will have objective. Every speech you do, you will have an objective, and that train your mind to think. What do I need to say? Well, I need to do a project. For example, persuasive. What do I need to persuade? How to get the idea? How do I know this is this is the right thing? The audience would be would like to listen. This is in Toastmaster. You are trained to think what to say. What is the right thing to share to the audience? And then, okay, there are so many things to say. Finally, you pick, you pick one. Ah, this is the one I want to say. You found the idea. But the next thing is, why do you want to say that? Well, you say, well, because I like it. I love to say this. I want to. I get you get excited. I want to share share this with the audience. Well, you like it. Would the audience like it? You need to think. You need to think not only you like it, the audience will also like it. How would the audience like it when they, you say something that benefit them? But today, my topic is how Toastmaster make a difference in your career. Is it interesting to you? Do you do you like it? You do. Do I catch your attention? Yes, right. Ah, so we learn to say why we must say something that create your interest. We must say something that is important to you. It's not what I like because the speech is for the audience. When you want to talk to someone, you need to think about what this person interested. Okay, now you know what to say. You know why you want to say. The how to say it? How? <laughs> you know, my originals in my DNA. I was a very direct person. To me, in my mind, I think, why waste time bit around the bush? Why? I just go direct. Boom! I just say directly what I want to say. Save time. Easy. I feel good. But that's not the way. We are dealing with human being. Human being is about feeling. Everyone wants to feel good. Am I right? Everyone wants to feel uplifting. Want to be uplifted. Want to be motivated. Want to be inspired. Want to be encouraged. Am I right? Yeah. So. In Toastmaster, you can witness it later. Don't run away. Wait, just witness to the end. How this evaluator give their evaluation. You know, in the earlier stage, when I give evaluation, everybody hate me because I don't know how to say it in the right manner. I strictly told them, you should do this. You should do that. You should be like that. It's so demotivating, right? So we learn how to say it, say the things in the uplifting way. When you make a mistake, when you didn't do it right, you will know you 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 know it. But you don't want people to tell you something. You didn't do it right. You are you are, you need to do this. You need to be be like this. You need to say it this way. You don't want people to hear that, right? To tell you that. So, in Toastmaster, we learn. To say things in a very positive way, in a very uplifting way, in a way, but 
we will still tell you what you need to know though. We are not like sugar coating and, and so that at the end you learn nothing. No, 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 no. That is not what we are here. We will tell you what you need to learn in order to improve, in order to be better. So, but we learn it to say it in a very positive way. This is a communication skill. Communication. Okay, now in summary, in summary, if you have learned what to say, why do you say it? And how do you say it? Do you think people like you? Do you think you like yourself? Do you think that you will be a happy person? Because you make everybody happy. You are you're able to uplift people. You are able to help people, to motivate, to make a difference in their life. Not only the people around you happy with you, you also are happy with yourself. Right? Right? Yeah, I used to hate myself because I every time I say something, I step on people's toe, I make people angry, I, people don't like me. But now, people like Alicia. Amma, you like Alicia? Ah, uh, like ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Now we say about different level of confidence. We can we will in Toastmaster will help you to get rid of the stage fright, to get rid of the nervousness to speak confidently, and more importantly, to articulate correctly. You see, speaking is different from articulation. Speak, a lot of people just stand and speak blah, 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 but they don't say the right thing. They don't articulate the point correctly. They don't articulate the point to, so that you can, you can thoroughly understand, you get it. Toastmaster is a safe place for you to learn, to, to learn to progress because we all started from the same point. When every one of us, when we started from the same point, that's why we understand each other. We can feel for each other. We help each other. We encourage each other. Right? So far, now, in, in, by do, learning this communication, you will make a difference. It will make a difference in your career because in your in this world, it's about people. It's about people in your workplace, in your at home, wherever you deal with people. And people is about communication. If you have a good communication skill, you will have a good relationship. You will have a good intrapersonal interpersonal communication skill. Then back home. Everywhere you go, you will be happy. Your career certainly can fly, can be good. Today, I'm given 15 minutes to talk about, to give a talk. In Toastmaster, it's not just that you talk, but you need to talk within a time frame. I, on, I want to talk about two aspects of the Toastmaster that will make a difference in your career. One aspect is about communication. Another aspect is the quality that you have. You know, when you go for interview, besides being good at communication, you also need to show a good quality that the interviewer expect you to have so that they would want to hire you. But then as a first grad, how do you build that qualities before you even started a job? That will be my next session because it takes another 15 minutes to say to talk about it. I will tell you how to build that quality in Toastmaster. I can assure you when you are, even though you first, it, this is your first job, but in front of the interviewer, you will be confident enough to tell them, I have this quality, I have this quality, I have this quality, I have this quality, this quality, uh, what you need, what you look for in, your, in, in me. So 
I'm sure you will be proud of yourself. It'll be very confident to speak in front of the interviewer. Stay tuned. Let the president, let our VPPR tell you when will be our next second session, second episode. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day.